Good morning. One of the things that people ask me about is uh, why is it that I'm losing inches but the scale's not changing for me? So uh, a lot of times when people are on a weight loss journey, um, it does get frustrating when you step on the scale and you're expecting to have a, a significant amount of a weight loss for the week and some weeks you don't lose any weight, some weeks you even gain weight. Um, I talk about that in the book. It's very frustrating. Um, and I know how that feels. And, you know, you've put in all this work. You, you've been really strict on your diet. You're um, doing your cardio consistently. You're getting all your strength training in. Um, you're getting all your water in. You're doing all the things that you're supposed to be doing. But for some reason, the scale just isn't moving. However, you notice that you're tightening your belt up a little bit more or your clothes are fitting looser. Or even when you do um, circumference measurements with a tape, you notice that you're losing inches off your body. Well, one of the main reasons for that is uh, a lot of times when we're gaining lean muscle at a more rapid weight rate than we're losing body fat and as we're losing that body fat due to gaining the lean muscle, um, it's kind of balancing out. So as you're putting on the muscle and you're losing body fat, sometimes uh, the muscle gain gets a little bit ahead of the fat loss. Um, a lot of trainers I've heard tell people that muscle weighs more than fat. That's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. I mean, uh, when I was in the first grade, my teacher taught me that a pound of feathers weighs the same thing as a pound of steel. So a pound is a pound. Okay, let's, let's don't um, uh, get misdirected as, as far as that goes. But muscle is less dense. So as you're gaining that muscle, you're still picking up a pound of muscle and maybe you're losing a half a pound of body fat as you pick up a pound of muscle. So you're, you're only gonna lose a half pound net. You understand what I'm saying? So for a more realistic example, let's say you lose uh, five pounds of body fat, but you gain five pounds of muscle. Well, you're gonna weigh the same, but you're gonna be smaller. So take pride in the inches lost as much as you're taking pride in the pounds lost, because overall, um, we're looking for a more aesthetic, smaller, uh, well-toned version of you. So as you're losing those inches, let that create momentum um, in you towards achieving your overall weight loss goal because eventually we're all gonna top out at lean muscle gain and we're gonna continue to lose that body fat, okay? So the scale is gonna continue to go in the right direction as long as you're doing the right thing. So don't let that scale frustrate you too bad. Stay consistent with what you're doing, do the right thing every day and the, the scale will move and the pounds will fall off. So uh, I hope this clears it up for you. Um, there are a lot of other factors that go into it, you know, um, water retention, sodium retention, a lot of things that go into it. But the main thing is, as long as you're doing the right thing consistently, keep doing the right thing. Now, don't let this misguide you in any way. If you're, you know, slacking on your diet and you're not doing your cardio consistently and you're not getting your workouts in and you step on the scale and, and you're not losing weight, then don't say, hey, that's okay, I'm probably losing inches. Don't get misguided. Stay focused on your efforts to achieving those short-term goals. Check them off and make it happen.